A ball abduction uh, hip bridge is really good for your glutes, but it's also good for your adductors. It's really good for hip stability. So you're going to put the ball between your knees. You also can use a foam roller if you don't have a ball that is small enough, and you can just put your foam roller between your legs to squeeze onto that. But you're going to put that ball between your knees. Your feet are going to be about hip width apart. You're going to lay flat down. Put your shoulder blades underneath you. From here, you're going to tuck your tailbone around so that your rib cage goes flat. You're going to squeeze against that ball the entire time as you, ex ex as you extend your hips by squeezing those glutes um, to lift your hip. What we want to prevent doing is, number one, arching our back at the top. We want to keep our rib cage down. Even if that means that you're tight and you're missing some hip extension, we'd rather have your rib cage down. The other thing you want to prevent is leading down with your pelvis. You want to articulate down your vertebrae so that you're coming down in a good neutral position. You can also do this from an elevated surface. So the same principles apply. Shoulder blades flat. You're going to squeeze that ball between your feet. You're going to tuck your pelvis around. You're going to bridge through your hips, keeping your rib cage down, making sure you're in a good neutral position, squeezing those glutes. Articulate down your vertebrae to come back down. And you're going to repeat that with a set amount of reps or duration.